Hello and welcome back to another tutorial with Drago and today we're going to show you how to uh, boot, well, make the Siggy the bootable drive in the BIOS settings. This needs to happen because you don't want your hard drive with your Windows operating system taking over and trying to boot from there straight away. So you first of all you need to hop into your uh, BIOS settings by clicking the delete key or F8 and whatever key is set then make sure the in the boot sequence which you might have to go looking for uh, you make sure CD DVD is first on the list so it's first to boot up and it's the first to give you the stuff. In the video is just how you change it um, by pressing enter or pressing the plus and minus value stuff and move up and down. It's pretty simple. Well, the help options help you out a lot in this. So once you've done that, you exit out and save and exit. The computer will restart on its own and then launch from the CD which you put in there when you slide up. CD boot initialized and it will start loading the boot logo and then IAT cost comes up and you can just let it uh, log out or just press a key. Now you can start installing IAT cost. Um, with this, so I hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you next video or this will be the same video just twice. So I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back, and now we have a cursor on the screen, right up in this corner. Hello, Mr. Cursor. Anyway, you still have to wait for it, and now the cursor has turned into a deaf wheel. There we go, now we select our language. Just make sure you select English, mouse, and then this thing right here. Now, we let it load up a little bit more, because it's the saying to itself, well, I need to have English stuff, instead of Japanese, or anything else like that. So, just let it load up. Wait for we. You have to wait a pretty long time with installations. Here's some keys for that. Okay. Now, here we are. First of all, you go straight up to utilities. In the corner. Click on utilities. Disk utility. And they got load once again. This is probably the second time I've done this, but might as well do it for you guys. Gathering the disk information. And then, once it's gathered, hurry up and gather please. Gathered. Click on the disk OS2. Go to arrays and click on that. Make it journaled. Name it Mountain Lion. Then click erase. 
don't worry about this up here. If you've done what I've told you with the partitions, it shouldn't make any difference. Now it's got now it has the Mac OS extended stuff on it. That's pretty cool. Now if I get out of it by pressing the X button and then go continue. Agree. Wait for your disk to pop up, click on the mountain line disk. Then go straight to customize. Do not click install, otherwise it won't work. Okay, the bootloader is set as Charmeleon. The graphics enabler. I don't know what's this do. Some Apple. I don't want that. This is a VGA card and flag. Works with many VGA. Card. Do not select with any other. VGA. Okay, that's fine. Just take off that one. Fake SMS. It's emulate something hardware. Originally, new branch of project something something rather. This must be selected, so do not unselect this. This one is disabled. This drive, this driver disables Apple's CPU power management, which which is a must. You may not need this, so just keep that on. This one is Evo or boot it is a kernel extension fixes reboot shutdown issues by Evo. Just keep that one on. This one I need to turn on because I have this error for the PC, the PCI configuration thing. Custom kernels you don't need. Here we go. To the drivers, your VGA. We do not click on any of these. Just don't click on any VGA. This. Uh, the, here we go, the bootloader options already has the graphics enabler on it, so do not click on any VGA stuff. The main hard, well, don't click on it, main hardware, we click on the Aki SATA, for us, that's one. Sound is the Apple HD, the USB we don't need, and the hardware sensors we don't need. Now to network, we, we go down, here, there's wire and wireless, that's the wire, stuff, the marvel, the rest of, the, I don't really care about any of that, so you just go, you click on network, just click network, okay, once you've done that, it should, should work properly. Uh, Sata slash ID. Hopefully, I don't get the problem I had last time. Even though I turned off that, uh, made sure I didn't get any of the VGA stuff stuffed up. But here we go. Second time, lucky. It's actually the fifth time for me. Click install. And let it install. I'll see you on the other side. This may take about 10. 12 minutes, and don't worry if it, if it freezes. If it freezes for more than 2 minutes, you might want to turn off or just wait a little bit longer. Anyway, see you. Alright, now it's got less than a minute left, as you can see, less than a minute. And it's just doing its finishing right off saying it's done. And I'm trying to get into my seat. Because I'm done. Hurry up. Get my seat is bad. Let's see how close it is. Your disc might. Uh, what's it called? Might turn itself off and then on again. I just might do that. Because that's how it goes. There we go. Installation complete. And then it says here, in school complete, uh, you have to wait 6 seconds or you can click the restart button. I would wait. And it goes into restart mode. Grey screen. Turns off.
wait for it. There we go. Turns back on again. Now it's initializing with the CD once again. Go press F8 this time. Go into mounting line. And click. Just to make sure, go slash V. So with a both, so you know exactly what it's doing, so press enter. Now there's no problems. It just says unknown NVIDIA graphics card at top. There's no actual big prof um, problems I saw at the start since the last time. But this is just going to go through, load up all the P disks thingies. That's, it will be quite nice to create your own operating system of your own. Um, it would be pretty cool. You can add whatever you want to it, but it would just take bloody forever. Because look at all this stuff. This is all created. All this is all in, just getting turned on by the um, operating system itself. It's just weird. Okay. Let's go on. We'll start going into black screen soon. And it'll tell me what's wrong. There's probably nothing wrong, but here we go, here we go. It's doing it. It's doing it. Let's go with FS success. Waiting for DNS Moss. HQ enable a compile. No errors. Please, no errors. Oh, yes, it has an error. Oh. Hey, it got past it. Volume name version. Hey, it worked. And the sound has started. There's your music for you. Okay. I'll put these heads out. I need to turn it down. Crap. Where's the sound? I don't know where the sound button is. Crap. I forgot. Um. Okay. Who cares? Oh, there's good. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna do it without sound. So now it's got sound. Go uh, Australia, that's where I live. Go, go, say the US. Or oh, let's go Australia. Enter. Do you wanna transfer information from Windows? But um, I don't have this, so I'll just go. Don't transfer now. And go okay. Apple ID, type in your email address, so mine's Rego Um at Hotmail, where is it? Shit, it's Hotmail. Okay, I don't know how to set this thing up. Uh, I'll be right back in a second. Typed in. It should be fine. Continue. Can get into Apple. Uh, first name is Drew. Last name is I have an awesome last name. See? And you don't really need anything else, so you go enter and you go continue. Because it's stupid. Password. Okay, there's just normal password. Password here, you drag and you sh Because it's Dragonish. Because that's my name, Jagger. But that is not a password, <laughs> for sure. Okay, you have to select your little area. Broken Hill, Adelaide, Australia. Okay, that's where I am. And go. Don't forget. Start. Don't forget to register. Um, who really cares? Go in. And just choose a random one for you. go. Gregor, okay, it's not my password. Okay. Here we go. And it starts up. Perfect. Uh, the keyboard assistant. Uh, 
it's just you have to go in there and go what's next to your shift key you press Z and that one and I am units to take and go done iCloud I uh, don't think you need that so I'm just gonna exit out of that this thing's still going off on its own stupid thing anyway alright from what you do here there is going to be another kind of tutorial which is much better camera work than what it is right now so that will be up probably very soon probably in the same day I'll probably upload everything in one day so everyone knows how to dual boot very easily and hope you guys enjoy like favorite comment see what happens if it doesn't work um, just try reinstalling it and tell me and what point did it go wrong things when you click when you type dash v for verbose mode where did it stop tell me the last few lines and i'll see if there's a fix for it okay thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time bye